So, uh, hello, uh, welcome again. So, uh, my name is Ashutosh, and today I will be discussing about a logistic regression model. So, uh, I will be discussing what is logistic regression model and what is the mathematics behind logistic regression model. And also, I will be telling about uh, what are log of odds and uh, uh, what it means when we say uh, we want to maximize the log likelihood in regression problems. So, however, uh, the uh, example using the Python, I'll be taking in um, our next video. But uh, this uh, video is more focused on the uh, mathematical concept and how logistic regression works. So, uh, let's start. Uh, so, yeah. so uh, logistic regression is nothing but uh, it is a transformed uh, linear regression equation. So, uh, as we all I am assuming we all, we all have a little bit uh, understanding of uh, linear regression problem. Uh, so uh, if I just give a, a brief about linear regression, so what it is, it is a linear relationship between two continuous variable and that's the mandatory a variable should be continuous and it also predict a continuous value. So uh, for example, if you want to predict uh, um, uh, 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 price of a particular house uh, uh, after 10 years then uh, uh, price will be a continuous value right so so that's where we say we, uh, using linear regression we want to predict a continuous value but uh, uh, in logistic regression it is a little bit different it's uh, it comes in picture when we want to classify a particular outcome uh, uh, belongs to a particular class whether it is a class 1 or class 0 uh, we are taking a 0 and 1 two classes here uh, however, it can also be extended in multi-class problem, but in this particular video, we will limit it to uh, two class, binary class pro classification problem. So, so uh, now question comes, uh, how, if it is a uh, uh, transformed linear regression problem, then how we transform linear regression to be have like a logistic regression and it, uh, it can be used to classify a problem. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, so what what is the main problem why can't we use uh, linear regression directly to predict uh, particular outcome being in a particular class so see uh, using uh, linear regression we uh, we uh, predict a continuous value for example is a 100 right but using 100 what we know we, we don't we don't know we can't say which class it will belong so we need a threshold we need a threshold value right so uh, if there is a threshold defined for example it is a 50 then we can say uh, all the values above 50 could be a class 1 and all the values below 50 could be a class 0 but who will and how we will define that 50 as a, as a threshold and also if you go deeper then you will get to know that uh, uh, if a new value uh, getting added in our data set, then uh, our threshold can also get changed. So, so that that's a where uh, we come to know like uh, we cannot use a linear regression directly, but that is not the scope of this particular video. So, I'm just uh, stopping linear regression discussion here and just uh, moving forward to logistic regression. So, as I already told you that uh, logistic regression is nothing but a transformed linear regression. So, let's see how can we transform linear regression to uh, work as a logistic regression. So, so that's where we uh, use a sigmoid function. So, sigmoid function uh, is nothing but it is uh, also known as a probability function, which is p is equal to um, 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power minus z. So if you have a closer look in uh, sigmoid function here, then you see it is nothing but 1 divided by any value which is greater than 1. So that's where it is 1 plus. So 1 plus anything means greater than 1 and also it is a positive value. So, so if we divide 1 uh, by any value which is greater than 1, then we will always get a value in between 0 to 1. So that's where a p will take value between 0 to 1. So, so that's the logic behind why we use sigma function here. So, sigma function is, uh, as I already told you, it is a probability function and it returns the value between 0 to 1. So, 
so if we, so that's where uh, our threshold problem resolves here if we are getting a value between 0 to 1 not any random continuous value so uh, if we say uh, if we define a threshold as a 0 0.5 and we say uh, above 0 0.5 uh, till 1 it is a class 1 and below 0 0.5 till 0 it is a class 0 so that that, that will that becomes very easy to uh, predict any classification problem so, so that's where sigma function comes to our rescue. So now see uh, how you use a sigma function to uh, transform a linear regression problem. So now uh, if we uh, solve it further, then it is it will become uh, p is equal to e to the power z divided by e to the power z plus 1. And again, uh, z is nothing but a linear uh, equation. So if we put uh, this uh, linear equation here into the z, then we get p is equal to e to the power beta 1 plus beta 1 x1 that the dash plus beta k x k divided by uh, e to the power beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus data dash beta k x k plus 1. So this is the transformed, uh, this is the uh, still a sigma function in terms of uh, p, p is nothing but probability. So uh, if you uh, see then it is uh, very hard to solve it, right? it's a, I mean very complex uh, uh, probability equation. So what we can do here to transform it in easy to solve problem. So that's where our odd ratio comes in picture. So odd ratio is uh, nothing but uh, odd is called uh, is the probability of success divided by probability of failure. So that is nothing but p divided by 1 minus p. So here if in this equation we put uh, the value of p and try to solve then it become um, s. s equal to and then yeah same uh, we put the p, uh, p value here, then it will become this large value. And then if we solve further, then it becomes s is equal to e to the power, uh, same k. That, that is nothing but a linear regression equation. And further, if we take uh, log both sides, then it will become uh, log of s is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus beta 3 x3 plus data del beta k x k. So yeah, so yeah, so that so if you see a right side, it is nothing but a linear regression equation, and and uh, it is uh, equal to log of s. That is nothing but log of odds. So so that's where we say um, uh, linear uh, logistic regression uh, uh, is nothing but the transformed uh, uh, linear equation in terms of log of odds. So uh, so now uh, so so yeah, so now if you um, so, so that's a log of odd is also called a log it and transform model is linear in beta 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 that we have already seen here in say here so it is a linear in beta so now uh, it is solving the logistic regression problem essentially reduces to finding the beta that minimizes the error so um, so here um, yeah, so is this logistic regression now uh, has become equivalent to linear regression problem and we will solve dicto as we solve linear regression problem and uh, in linear regression we also we want to uh, minimize the error and that error is nothing but the uh, sum of squared um, uh, error so that is uh, when, uh, y i minus y i hat so that is nothing but uh, predicted uh, value minus actual value but here we, we are not going to use the same um, cost function here it will be different but for now, it is a reduced linear equation in terms of beta. So now, now uh, we just take an example. Suppose uh, with one predictor, we got the linear equation. So, so this could be your any linear equation. I've just taken an example. So LNS, that is nothing but log of odd is equal to uh, minus 20.40782 plus 0.42592 into x. So 42.592 x is... Uh, is nothing but the, uh, uh, the coefficient of x and uh, this uh, minus 20.40 is nothing but the uh, constant so so uh, we can think like a beta naught uh, plus beta 1 x so we have uh, one uh, uh, independent variable that is x and um, we want to predict something uh, whole lns that's what we can think about it and now if we, now if you want to uh, predict uh, for a given x equal to 50 then how we will solve we will just put x equal to 50 in this particular equation and we will get uh, lns is equal to 0.89 and then we again further solve it uh, then it will become s is equal to e to the power 0.89 and which is equal to 2.435 so this is nothing but odd ratio odd ratio is a probability divided by a pro probability of success divided by probability of failure if again we convert it into uh, terms of 
probability then it will become p equal to h divided by s plus 1 which is equal to 2.435 divided by 1 plus 2.435 which is equal to 0 0.709 so so that's where uh, probability comes around uh, 70.9 so 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 what so what it means so this means a uh, probability of being in a class 1 is equal to 70 percent 70 percent and um, so so uh, so we are in solving logistic regression problem we always uh, assign uh, one for uh, desired outcome and zero for opposite that is not not desired one so uh, positive class is the desired one so that's where a probability value gives the for the what is the probability value we get that is not that is nothing but for the desired outcome so here we can say 70 percent is the probability uh, of being an outcome to in class one so it's using a probability of 0 0.50 as a cutoff between predicting the two classes one or zero this member would be classified as class one with a probability of 70 percent that's i already explained so so here i will just tell you one more uh, thing uh, what is uh, why it is called maximizing the log likelihood so as you have already seen that uh, Logistic regression is nothing but the transformed uh, linear equation in terms of beta and that is nothing but log of odds. So that's and we further solve it and got a log of s is equal to this particular uh, linear equation. So why we want to maximize log of s? If you see uh, closely here, s is equal to e to the power. So this 0.89 is nothing but the value of ln s. So the um, more it is, uh, the more will be the uh, odd ratio, and more will be the probability. So if you, uh, if you just uh, look closer into the little, little bit mathematical part here, so uh, the more will be e to the uh, power value here in terms of e, the more final uh, odd ratio will be. So here, if you increase uh, uh, instead of 0.89, you do 0.95, then you will get uh, more value. If you uh, give e to the power one, then it will be equal to, uh, more than two. So, so you, you keep on increasing this value, you will get, get, get getting more uh, more this value. And if you have more this value, then of course it will uh, this will, this probability value will also become more. So you you can just uh, uh, try uh, putting multiple values here, and you you will uh, you'll get uh, get to know that this keep on increasing. So that's uh, that's the reason we, why we call it uh, uh, maximizing the log likelihood. So that's the reason we call, uh, we also call logistic regression is maximizing the log likelihood. So yeah, so uh, this is all about uh, the uh, mathematics con mathematical concept behind logistic regression model and. Uh, so I hope uh, it is clear now how logistic regression works and in our next video I will be taking an example and solving it using a, a Python library that is nothing but the scikit-learn. So there we will be seeing the complete example and we'll, uh, there we will also be training the model uh, using logistic regression and we will see uh, how much uh, accuracy we are getting. So hope you enjoyed the video and if so, yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe the video and until next video, thank you very much and take care. Bye-bye.